Hi guys, the cursor control of Pointable is different from other applications because it follows where you're pointing on an either application that does relative motion. As you can see, I can point from one end of my screen to the other by just changing my fingertip position. When you first uh, start to use the cursor control, if you realize there's a big offset from where you're pointing, you can always do redo the screen calibration by going to the gear icon of the screen calibration or you can always select it from the pointable icon at the notification area select screen calibration now when you first start to use the cursor control of pointable make sure your thumb is near your index finger and place it slightly behind the motion control as this is the best position for the fingertip to be visible by the lip motion controller. Now, if you realize, sometimes if you do a thumb up gesture, it will start to drag. Because point is very sensitive to dragging. So for beginner's sake, we have already disabled the dragging. Now for you, now when you felt you're more comfortable with the cursor control, you can enable the dragging gesture by going to the point icon at the notification area and then select interaction and click on click and drag. When you first start to use cursor control or pointable, I will suggest you to launch a browser. As you can see in this browser, I can start to scroll almost immediately. Now, to start to scroll, first of all, you must focus on the window. A green border will appear around it, which means the window is in focus. And you can do a uh, slow scroll by doing a small circular motion. Uh, to do a fast scrolling, you can do a bigger circular motion. Pointable also allows you to do a left click. Now to do a left click, you realize uh, there's a drop, green droplet that is being dropped. This indicates the position that can, that can be clicked by the pointable. So you can always place the droplet at the position such as this and then flick it at another position that you're more comfortable with. If you find that to do the left click is hard to do using a gesture, you can always initiate it using the control button such as this. Pointable also allows you to do a right click using a quick right and back gesture such as this or if you find that the right click gesture is hard to initiate you can always use the alternate key on the keyboard to initiate it. Pointable also allows you to do a middle click using the using a gesture to the left and back such as this or if you wish you can always point at the position and then do a left click using the shift key such as this now sometimes you find that it is hard to reach along the screen edges because at this point because for a dome monitor setup the fingertip position is hard for the lip motion controller to detect so pointable has actually implemented sticky edges along the screen edges so that you can glide along the cursor to the position that you wish to click, drop the droplet there, and do a flick to uh, click on uh, the things that you wish to click on. But you still feel you still find some challenges to click on the icons along the taskbar, such as this. So the best way is actually to use the palm up gesture to call the application switcher. You can actually do a circular motion to choose between the different application and do a tap down to launch the application or if you wish you can actually do a flip up palm up gesture and then position your hand at a very comfortable position and then do a tap down to select the application that you wish to launch now by default you can switch between application by doing the palm up and palm down gesture so with this I have concluded my tutorial for the cursor control.